Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these sunflower seed bead earrings. In my previous video for sunny seed bead ring, you asked me to make sunflower. Uh, somebody commented with a picture of a sunflower and the other one of my beading friends wanted to see sunflower tutorial, so I devote this tutorial to you. Thank you so much for your ideas and your positive energy that makes me continue doing more and more videos. Now guys, I will show you really easy step by step how to do these sunflower earrings and I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make them. So if you want to support me, you could subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button here to be notified when I release new video. In this way, you will know when I release my next video with the sunflower bracelet and you could make a beautiful set for yourself or for a present. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows, hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you. They help you express your personality better and they are a great present for your beading friends or for yourself. And when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. You could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are 5 colors of 11 ohm seed beads. You could use of course 10 ohm seed beads as long as all of your colors are one and the same size. Okay, and here I'm using ear wires uh, in black color and I'm using size 10 beading needle, monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line or other nylon beading thread and uh, when you use... Uh, uh, beading thread, uh, they are made flat and they easily go through size 10 beading needle, but if you use monofilament, you should squeeze it with wet, your flat nose pliers to go through the eye of the needle. Okay, and I'm using scissors here, and you see uh, these are all my colors, and now I'm going to start by taking about four feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up six black seed beads. And I have my six here. And what I do is that I slide them down, leave a small tail, and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop and going twice or even three times through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and this is called surgeon's knot, okay? And then I will go through my following C bead. And I will pull again. Now I'm going to start adding C beads. Okay. I'm taking one red C bead and go through the following black one. One more. And I will continue this four more times. Okay, and when I pull tight, I have this. Okay, then what I want to do is go here through my following red bead. And I'm stepping up in my next row. And here in my next row, I need a black, a red, and a black. This is what I have. And I'm going through my following copper red bead. Then I need a black, a red, 
and a black the same thing okay and I'm going through the following copper red bead black red black here it is go through the red one and I'm gonna do this three more times Okay guys, and see what I have here. The center of my sunflower is forming. Then I'm gonna go through these two beads, exiting out of my outer edge, out of this copper red one. And then I want to take two black beads, one red, and then again two black beads. Okay, so five in total. And as I'm exiting from this red bead I will go through the following one okay then again two black one red two black five in total go through the following copper and repeat this guys four more times Okay guys, and now I added my last 5 beads from this row and what I want to do is what I did before I want to exit out of this red bead and step up in my next row and now what I want to do is take 5 black beads Okay, I have my 5 here and I'm going through the following Okay, then through the following, okay, like that, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and in my next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add light orange, dark orange, light orange. And now I will go through these two black beads here. And take light orange, dark orange and light orange. This is what I have. And I will skip this central bead and go through the next two black beads. And pull. Then I'm gonna do this here. White, dark, white. This is what I have. And I'm going through two black beads in this direction. Pulling. Now this is what I have, then again, white, dark, light, okay, skipping the central one and going through these two beads, this is what I have, white, dark, and light, 
skip these two black beads go through the following white dark white skip the next and go through the following two and light dark light go here through these two beads light dark light skip those two go through the following And continue this until the end of this row and when I'm here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Uh, three beads, sorry, from this row. And if you can, go through the next two black beads and the following orange. If you can't, you could do it in two movements. If, it, if you can do it in one movement, okay. Now, don't worry that uh, these beads bent. We'll fix it in one of our following rows, okay? Then I'm exiting out of this light orange bead. And what I need to add are three yellow beads. And, of course, I will skip this middle orange one and go through this light orange. And this is what I have now. And I went through this black one and I will go through the following black because my goal is to exit out of the next orange one. Okay. Then what I need are three more orange beads. Okay. Go through the following orange and through the black beads. then through the black and through the following orange like that take three yellows go through the orange and if you can in one movement go through the following two black beads you could do it in two movements if it's hard for you then I will go through the following orange Okay. Now, again, don't worry that your flowers move back and forth. We'll fix this. Now, continue adding three beads everywhere. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Hey guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, I'm adding them. And you see how my flowers bend and move, but don't worry about this, I told you in the beginning. Okay, then I will go through this orange bead here. Then I will go through this yellow bead. Now I'm going to take five yellow beads. Okay, like that, five. And I will skip this central bead and go through this orange, through the black, if you can, in one movement. And this is what I have. I have my first petal ready. Then I will go through this black and through the following orange and yellow. Like that. And I'm going to take again five yellow beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going through this yellow, through this orange and through the following black one. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. My goal is to exit through the orange and through the first yellow. Then I'm adding five yellow beads and through the next one and then I will come for my last row where I will make all, all of my petals stay in a better shape. Okay guys, and I'm adding 
my last five seed beads from this row okay just like that and now I'm going to make my petals look better okay so I'm going through this petal here okay like that and I'm going here through these central beads and I want to exit here in the middle of my petal so this is the top and I'm going two beads to the center of my work then I'm taking just one C bead and I'm going here in the same place two beads separate me from the middle black part of my work and two beads separate me from the top of my work okay and I'm pulling then I'm going here in the same place here you see I'm taking one black bead just one and I'm going here through these two beads and I'm pulling tight okay then through the top bead and through the following two and I will continue this until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm adding my last seed bead from this row okay like that and you see how everything sits straight it looked almost impossible to sit straight but it sits and if you think it's not straight enough you could go one more time reinforcing this part here okay and now I will show you how to attach your ear wire okay and in order to do this I will go through this yellow bit here of the top and I will take one black bead my ear wire and then again one black bead and what I'm going to do is that I will go back through this yellow and I'm going to pull now this is what I have and what I do is that I reinforce this part okay and do this as many times as you want and now in my next step I'm going to make a knot so I'm going through these two beads here making here a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling then I'm going through the next bead and I'm cutting my thread and now guys my earring is ready you see how these middle beads pop up from one and the same side this is another advice I, I consider it's um, important okay Okay guys, and now my sunflower seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and also hit that bell button because in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sunflower bracelet and in this way you could make a beautiful set for present or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry 
following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, pillows, phone covers, and they are a great present for your beating friends or for yourself and they help you express your personality better. And when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel, and my mission. You could find links here at the icon and down there in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.